practice mindfulness. Now listen, mindfulness itself, it's not gonna make you quit smoking, but it's a tool that works. And it's a tool we're using in the CBQ program as well because it is fantastic. So mindfulness, what is it? It's when you're fully present to what you're experiencing internally and externally. It means paying attention, observing with curiosity and without judgment the inside or outside world. It's about noticing what you're thinking and feeling right this minute. You can focus on your breathing, how your body feels or what you hear, smell or see. See, we spend most of our lives being on autopilot and we do things mindlessly, where mindfulness is the exact opposite state and it helps you, both your body and your mind relax because when you're being mindful, whatever it is you're being mindful about, you're in the here and now. You're not being dragged by your past or getting overwhelmed by the future. You're in the present moment. And in terms of quitting smoking, mindfulness can help in many ways. Well, for one, how many times we smoke to escape our emotions, to escape our boredom, to escape our anxiety? Well, mindfulness can help us feel our emotions, sit with our emotions, sit with your boredom and learn how to feel your emotions because then this reduces your tendency to escape and therefore your need to smoke. Escaping, covering, misdirecting are defense mechanisms and mindfulness can allow you to sit with that emotion until it peaks and then fades. And of course, to realize that the emotion is not you, but something that appears in your consciousness. Because when we feel a certain way, we turn to you know, merge with that emotion and act upon them, either by smoking or other ways. But when you're mindful, you're able to step back and notice the emotion. You're not becoming the emotion, you can notice it. And of course, this decreases the intensity of that emotion. And you can use the same thing with a craving. When you have a craving, what do you do? You tend to escape either by smoking or eating. But what if you were to embrace that experience? What if you were to sit with your craving and notice it? You will see that there's nothing to it. It's just a thought and a sensation. So when you sit with your craving, you reduce its intensity, you make it weaker. Because what makes a craving overwhelming are the stories we tell ourselves about what the craving means. So when you turn off the storytelling voice and you observe your craving mindfully, the pure craving, you're gonna see that there's nothing to it. And mindfulness works. In a study, participants who used mindfulness techniques cut down 37% of their smoking. Now I have two craving techniques that use mindfulness and you can find them in our YouTube channel. I've put the links below this video. So practicing mindfulness consistently, either in the form of meditation or guided breathing or just taking a random moment of your day to notice how you feel, or what you're thinking about, this can help you cultivate the skill and this is gonna help you counteract not only emotions but also cravings.